So in this video, I'm going to tell you about a program for your Mac that you probably already have or if you don't have it, you can download it for free to edit multiple audio files and export it all together in one bundle. So stay tuned while I switch over to the demo screen. So I did a video on Fission and Fission is an audio editor. So you can use it to cut out parts of the track and stuff like that. And Fission is a great program. You can add tags, notes, you can do a podcast URL and everything. I mean, this thing has a whole lot of fancy stuff. The only thing that Fission is missing is multi-track. So if you're trying to blend two audio files together, you cannot do it with Fission. So for all the Mac users, I got a solution for you and it's actually free. So let's switch over to that program right now. Yep, the program is GarageBand. The same program that Apple gives you for free to create music, you can also use it as an audio editor and take advantage of the multi-track capability. So all you have to do is open an empty project. Now when the track type pops up, you wanna choose audio and you wanna choose the one with the microphone. Okay, so when you see this screen, now you're ready to drop your audio on the first track. But before you do that, make sure you turn off the counting and the metronome. And now you can drag your track in and just drop it on the first one. Now, once the track is in there like this, you can do whatever you want to. You can cut out parts that you don't need. You just move the play head to the position that you want to cut. And then you can go up to here, edit and split. For the keyboard shortcut, you want to use command T. Then you can put those two back together. Okay, so now that I cut out all the parts that I don't need, I want to add, say, a sound effects. So I'm going to drop it down here in the bottom, just like this. Now, the cool thing about GarageBand is each one of them get their own little volume control. And you can control the panning, which you can move it to the left or the right. So at this point right now, I can export this entire audio and it's going to all blend together. So once you're satisfied with what you have and you're ready to save it out, you want to go to share and you want to go to export song to this. When it comes up, you can give it a name. You choose where you want the download to be. And then you can choose the file type. Then you can choose the quality. And then the only thing left for you to do is to click export. But I'm going to change the name of what this is so I can find it. So all I have to do is locate that file on my computer. So let me drag that file over so you can see it. And we're going to preview it. I have the Arlo have doorbell, the but it's audio but it's only. Audio only. Now they just now released they just a brand new brand doorbell that has doorbell video in it. So as you can see, there you go. I had the audio and I had the laser sound. So this is how you can use GarageBand as a multi-track audio editor. Now I know in my example, I'm using two tracks, but you can add more tracks depending on your project. Okay, so that's it. All you have to do is download GarageBand if you don't already have it on your computer and you can use it not only to just create music, but also a multi-track audio editor. So if this video was helpful to you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I want to thank you for taking the time for watching it. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.